over 12 hours. Some ferocious little teeth on that guy. Turkey killer? Yeah. Real public land, Florida. Hours and hours in the sand. Why is this still got rubber band there? 13 hours in the ground blind. Guys, I am so excited right now. Look what I got. Oh, I got a turkey decoy. Good old Jake. I also got this decoy right here. I didn't even know when I bought this thing, but it came with a remote. Came with a remote control, and I guess if you turn it on, he turns. Look at that. I'm about to go out into the woods for a few days with my buddy Lee. I've never turkey hunted before, but we're going to public land here in Florida. We're gonna set up decoys, we're gonna set up a camp, and by camp, I mean I clean my van out. Look at all that space I got in here. Put a bunch of stuff under these seats. I'll probably I'll fill all this up with coolers. Got some nice trunk space. I got an empty van here that I need to fill up. This big cooler, I'm gonna fill that cooler up with food. I got a couple buckets, I got a smaller cooler, then I got a medium sized cooler. I'm gonna fill them all up with food. So the plan is we're gonna sit in a ground blind for pretty much every day until a freaking turkey walks by. I have no idea what I'm doing. Lee has gone turkey hunting before. He kinda knows what he's doing, but we've never done this on public land and I've never done it, period. Can we get a turkey? Leave a comment right now. Am I gonna get a turkey? But I'm gonna spend the rest of the night packing the van up and then at five in the morning, I'm gonna head up to central Florida to our campsite and and then it's game on. One problem, I bought this turkey call called the Gobfather from Strut Commander. I think I'm gonna scare off every turkey in a million miles. I have no idea how this thing works. I'm running a little behind schedule. It is eight in the morning. I told Lee I was gonna leave at six in the morning, but it took me forever to stuff the van. I got a grill, cooler, a table, a gun bag, my decoys, another cooler, another cooler, buckets, another gun bag, another gun bag down there, ammo bag, laptop bag, camera bag, clothes bag. Looking good. I better get on the road. stopped at Bass Pro, at Home Depot, and at Walmart. And I think I spent like 200 bucks at each place, but I got enough food and drinks to survive out in the woods for a long time. Cause I ain't leaving the woods till we get a turkey. I get to the campsite, Lee has a tent set up and I'll be sleeping in the van. We get some things sorted out and then hop in Lee's truck and drive around the tens of thousands of acres of public land open to us. I'm trying to get a lay for the land for tomorrow because at 3.30 a.m. we will be walking out in the dark to a ground blind Lee has already set up. Back at camp we watch an epic sunset. That's a real good looking sunset. We cook up some hamburger patties with our red, white, and blue sweet heat and blackening seasonings for dinner. I'm on, I'm on your, your same scheme plan. And cook up some hog sausage that Lee brought to eat while hunting tomorrow. Time to go to bed. I'll see y'all in the morning. All right, it's 3.30 in the morning. I just woke up. It's, it's my first time waking up in a van in a long time. You got all my stuff and I'm ready to go. All right, we're, we're waiting in line right now to get into the public land and they're gonna open it up at five o'clock. It's 4.07, so we got like 45 minutes. We're in, boys. We carry our gear for 45 minutes down animal game trails leading to the location of our tree blind. Is this a coyote or a fox? Some ferocious little teeth on that guy. Turkey killer? Yeah.
Once we get to the tree blind, I get all of our gear sorted while Lee sets up the decoys. Unfortunately, while waiting for the sun to come up, we hear another two hunters right outside our blind right before sunrise, and they're literally stepping over our decoys. I guess that's part of the joy of public land hunting. God damn. The first light comes and we start to see. It's game on. Let's get a Florida Osceola turkey. Every 15 minutes or so, we put out a turkey call and hope something responds. A squirrel comes up to our blind and isn't very happy with us. He's lucky it's not small game season. It's already 8 a.m. and we hear some rustling. It gave us some hope, but it turns out to be a little bird in the palms. We hear some turkeys clucking off in the distance and try to call out to them. I'll be honest, we don't really know what we're doing, but we're trying. They never did come our way. We did have a bald eagle land right above our decoys. I think I wanted to eat them and I got this majestic shot of him flying away. It's about midday now. The morning birds have stopped singing and our decoys are sitting there hot and ready, waiting for a gobbler. After being in the tree blind for 10 hours, your mind starts to play some tricks with you and we figured if we just angled the decoy on the right slightly more horizontal to the ground, it's gonna make all the difference. I try to be as quiet as possible, and back in prison I go. I mean, back in the blind I go. It's almost 6.30 p.m. and we've been in this tree blind for almost 13 hours. Sometimes we gotta get up and stretch a little bit just to keep our sanity. But the sun is starting to set, the time feels right, and everything is about to change. We, we did, did it. it, man. We did it. We did what it. What time dude. is it? It's six twenty-four. I got a zoomed in HD shot. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Oh. Oh. This has been the most successful thing that's ever happened. Twelve hours. Yeah. Over twelve hours <laughs> in a f***ing stand, bro. And we. F oh my god, dude. We, got we did it. We did it. Holy shit, Lee. I cannot believe it, dude.
It actually worked. Before we step out of that tree blind and see sunlight for the first time in 13 hours, let's play that shot in slow motion. Oh yeah. We see a turkey emerge from a trail and Lee puts out some turkey calls. And he's spotted the decoys. That got him excited. I mean, damn. He almost broke his neck sneaking a peek at our hens. He starts calling out to us and Lee gives it some calls back. It's game on. I give Lee some encouraging words to take the shot. One and done. Head, neck, vitals. This was the red, white, and blues reaper seasoning in bullet form. Let's rewind that and check out the impact zones. We counted nearly eight rounds directly through the vitals of the turkey. Another two rounds through the throat, and we even found one round through the head. Dang, he got put down. Just nerves, man. That thing's done. Oh my god! Look at that tail. Smoking. He's got talons. <laughs> 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 Mother gobbler, dude. Dude. Hours and hours in the stand, scouting, paid off, man. <laughs> That's a wrap, dude. Yeah. 13 hours in the stand, bro. Yeah, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> it's weird being out in, out of, out of a blind after being in there for so long. <laughs> dude, they came right. They came right down this way. Got blasted right here. Not bad, dude. First day. First <laughs> first try. First day. Success. Real public land, Florida. Man. 13 hours in the ground blind. Yeah, 13 hours. Didn't hear anything all day. And then they just came out. Two gobblers walk right in. Dude, I'm shaking. Look at my hands. Not coin. Yeah, let's get some like close ups of this guy. Wow. I want to see that tail, dude. I want to see the tail. I want to get some good pictures. Yeah, dude. Do I look better or is it funny? <laughs> you look better, dude. It looks better. Wow. Yeah, dude, get behind that sucker.
Those colors, dude, are crazy. That's all that. Is that good? Yeah, that that's looking. Holy shit. Let me take some pictures. Sun's almost down. Sun's down, turkey's down. This is a perfect day by so far. Whew. He's getting away. Shoot him again. Oh, I like that. Oh, like that. blood splatter on the gun bag. Back to the mainland. Three birds. The warden measures, weighs, and takes some feather samples from the turkey for documentation. And we head back to our campsite where I light a fire because tonight we're going to feast. I know just how to celebrate this victory. Maine lobster. Oh. <laughs> Where's my blackening? Don't forget your blackening. Red, white, and blue outdoors, baby, at its finest. Added some garlic, onions, and corn on the cob. Oh my God, this is looking good. Yeah, I just added some sausage in there too. Oh yeah. It's raging Cajun time, bro. <laughs> Not a bad dinner after shooting a turkey. <laughs> oh yeah. We're stocked and loaded. For breakfast, we have a squirrel that Lee brought. Half squirrel. Half squirrel, yeah. Looks good. And we season it up with red, white, and blue outdoors. And then throw it on the grill. Does look good though. Normally slow cook squirrel is my favorite way to do it. But for some reason, this was the best squirrel that I had ever had. Seasoned, charcoaled, a little crispy burned. Perfect. We also cook up some pulled pork and some sausages that I had brought. Mm -hmm. Before heading out, I decided to do a little scouting of my own. I found this little trail with lots of turkey prints, droppings, and even found some feathers. So I set up my decoy and set up this little makeshift ground blind and gave it a try solo hunting. I never ended up hearing a turkey, but I did learn a lot about them. If you guys want to support the channel and you like this stick marsh pattern camo that I'm wearing, head over to rwboutdoors.com and get yourself some. Everything we make is printed, cut, sewn right here in Florida. We're back in Key Largo. We got the turkey. Lee put it in this massive Ziploc bag, an SC Johnson bag. I've never seen anything like that. Look at that, perfect, right? Right. Um, some guy at the hunting camp gave it to us and then we just put the turkey in it, put it on ice. It's been on ice for a day now. It's back in the keys and we're about to clean it up and I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> now let's take it out of the bag here. Here we go, we're gonna clean him off. <laughs> I guess the first thing we're gonna do is take his beard. 
with his little beard right there. We'll keep that as a trophy. I think you can just pull it out. <laughs> wow, okay. Step, step one. one done. <laughs> step one done. Uh, step two, we're gonna take his, his freaking canopy off, but first we're gonna take the breasts out. And I'm guessing it's done like a duck. So you got one breast here, one breast here. Two breasts. It's like humans. Oh, you see this? You see how there's no feathers here? Mm -hmm. Apparently, from what I read from them roosting and stuff, and they lay down in the dirt, that's what gets these feathers to come off. So that's why there's that spot there. Mm -hmm. And... We'll just lightly cut that skin off. Okay, now I'm gonna try to just rip it off. Wow. Oh my wow, this is actually yeah. really easy. Wow. You got a nice shot of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm like, I'm like mega zoomed in. Yeah, I lay her like a duck. I just did a slit and I like, literally it just pulled right off. That looks nice. Man. Right? <laughs> right? Damn. Better like, than store bought, I bet. Oh my gosh, it's a nice piece of meat. Mm -hmm. And then I guess you can cut these knuckles and then... Yeah, I mean, just wherever, you know, for the drumstick. Wherever the ball joint is. Oops. Oh, yeah. That might dry out and be pretty cool, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I was a Civil War doctor, is my leg off yet? I'm like, I'm working on it. <laughs> oh, my God. You shouldn't have got shot. Okay, high cut. One leg. Okay, two. That was a little okay. smoother, you know. Okay, two legs. What? I'm a dog. I retrieve things. Now we're going to take, I kind of want to loosen them up. Mm -hmm. Pop them. You Did you hear that pop? Yep, I heard it. I'm going to pop this one now. There, so the legs are popped out. Mm -hmm. Gives me a nice working area. I'm gonna use just a normal knife here. I'm just gonna run it right along that breast. There's basically a big bone here, so I just follow the bone down. Pretty simple. Almost done. Mm -hmm. Look at this, get a shot of that. That is a breasted turkey. Good job. <laughs> All right, let's get the second one going here. I love cleaning birds. Mm -hmm. First, like any other animal I've ever cleaned. I actually like this more than cleaning fish. Uh, you know, it's, I almost was gonna make a comment that I was like, that was faster than I feel like cleaning a fish. Yeah, and like if we weren't videotaping, I could probably I could just pound these out. Like. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Whack. 
Come over here, you're gonna wanna see this. Do you see what's inside of that turkey? Can you tell what that is? No. It's a freaking acorn. Oh! It comes like he, an eyeball, so it kind of freaks out. He's full of, we'll, we'll go through the stomach later. Let's finish cleaning them. We're gonna get the leg out of there. And I'm not sure how to do this, but I'm just gonna cut the feathers or cut the skin off the leg. And basically just peel the skin off. Reveal the leg. Oh, fun fact. Turkey legs at, where is it? Where is it, Disney World? I, I, any, I thought it, I heard it was any theme park. Theme parks, when you buy a turkey leg at a theme park, it's actually a, an emu leg. That's so the, the rumor on the street. That's the rumor on the street. Is it a rumor or is that truth? Leave a comment if you know. Wow, look at that. Look at that freaking wow. leg. So I guess I'll... Just cut right around the ball joint there. A turkey leg. So cool. Insane. Wow. Wow. That turkey leg is almost as big as the breast. Damn. Pop that ball joint again. I'm like, pop the ball joint. Like, it's real easy. <laughs> I can't get it out. <laughs> Ten minutes later. Yeah. One hour later, I'm like, why won't you come out of there? How's it look? Really good. Oh, yeah. It smells fresh. There's a BB in there. Here she is. <laughs> Dude, size four shot right there. For the most intense part of the whole turkey, I am going to try to cut off this part perfectly. But so far I feel pretty confident that it's gonna go okay. Trying to come off. Good job, Lee. Phew. I was getting nervous for you. Ooh. That, that was a lot of pressure. Thank you, Caitlin, for holding the camera. We got our beard, our tail feathers, our two legs, and our two breasts. And then we got our turkey carcass. Oh, let's look inside the stomach. Shall we do it? I want to know what this turkey eats. Dude, ready for this? Find something? Dude, your, your mind's going to be blown. Okay. No way. On acorn. Wow, so its stomach has... I'm sure those are palmetto berries, right? Dude, they're... they're like, they're turning... Everything's purple in there. They're like purple... Oh. Purple berries. Probably palmetto berries. Palmetto berries? A leaf, probably accidentally. <laughs> and then lots of acorns. Mm -hmm. That's really good info. I mean, we knew that, but now we know. 
confirmed. In that hammock, he's getting the food, you know? So they love these berries and they love acorns. Dude, no wonder they get so big. There's acorns everywhere out there. You're just mixing a stomach. Good work. <laughs> yeah. Two legs and two Same breasts. Good work, man. And freak it. Dude. You might have to touch it up a bit, but. You know. Hell yeah. Good stuff, man. And a fucking beard. Woo! <laughs> we did it! And we made a mess, too. Time to cook them all on up. We got our turkey. <laughs> We're gonna do like a little Thanksgiving. We got apple pie. We're gonna make green bean casserole, mashed potatoes and gravy. But the real star of the show is the chicken. And I- Turkey. Oh, turkey. And I had the turkey. I put the turkey breast in a bag, in a Ziploc bag overnight with chicken broth. So, kind of brining it in chicken broth. I didn't brine it for no uh, 13 days. Huh! Whack! Okay, what we're gonna do is dry off the chicken breast. Oh my gosh. I mean, turkey breast! <laughs> Dang it! I've never made turkey breast, so I'm a little confused. Oh my gosh. You'll have to forgive me. There's like this sticky skin stuff on here. I'm gonna clean it off a little bit, get rid of all this. I know Caitlin doesn't like this. Skin film. Yeah, but it's really easy to just to grab it and it pulls right off. The turkey is patted dry. We're gonna season it just slightly with sweet heat. I was gonna do sweet heat and blackening because I love blackened chicken, but I don't wanna cover the flavors up too much. So I'm just gonna do like real light, just like that. We'll do that to both sides. Just real light. Oh. Okay. I put some breadcrumbs in a Ziploc bag. Now we're gonna put the turkey in on in here. <laughs> oh, Pete's attacking a potato. <laughs> Pete, that's our mashed potatoes, girl. <laughs> wow. This is this household. It's a zoo now. Yeah, it's a freaking zoo. Hey, what's going on here? The oven is set to 400 degrees. So this is our roasting pan. Whoa. Hmm. I'll do the same exact thing to the ch to the turkey leg too. The leg is the dark meat. It's a lot darker than uh the breast, mm -hmm. and I'm really excited about that because I love the dark meat. We're gonna do it exactly the same, just a little bit of sweet heat, and then I'll bread it. Mm. That's looking good. Look at this stack of meat. Mm -hmm. Oven's at 400. So I have some chicken broth, and I'm just gonna add a tiny bit in here to help keep some moisture in here while it bakes. I'm not gonna add much. I think that's plenty. That was like, what, a couple tablespoons? Take some foil and cover it up. Now, I don't know how long to cook it for because it seems like every time I read directions online how, to, how long to cook something, it always seems to overcook. And I don't want to dry out my meat. So after an hour, I'm gonna check it. If it looks almost done, then I'm going to take the top off, we'll broil it, get a nice little crust on it for like three or four minutes. If it doesn't look done, we'll just keep it in there another 20, check it every 30 minutes or something. Play it by ear. <laughs> That's the best way to cook is just keep on checking, keep on tasting, and keep on cooking. It's been, wait, how long has it been? It's been an hour and 20 minutes. I checked them at an hour and they weren't really done, so we gave them another 20 minutes. Let's give it a look. I'm just going to cut into it and have a little peek. Oh, it's definitely cooked. I hope it's not overcooked. All right, set to broil and we'll just stick it in there just for like three minutes. We boiled some potatoes. They're nice and soft now. I'll add a quarter stick of butter. And add a little bit of milk. And then we'll just 
just mash it up into some mashed potatoes. And if it's looking a little dry and not creamy, you just add a little more milk. Whew. Wow, that yeah. got hot up in there. They look pretty good. Mm -hmm. They might be a little overcooked, maybe not. We're gonna find out. Look at my mashed potatoes. Yeah, perfect. But you know what I figure? If it's a little dry, we got some gravy. You guys ready to look inside of a wild turkey? Oh, it looks good. Mm -hmm. Smells like turkey. <laughs> Looks like turkey. Looks like turkey. It <laughs> smells like turkey. Okay, I'm gonna try a piece right now. That looks pretty, pretty delicious, actually. First wild turkey I've ever eaten in my life and cooked in my life. I sat in a tree blind for 13 hours straight for this moment right here. It's not super dry. It could have probably been in there like 10 minutes less, but you want to try a bite? Hey, you got to know what I'm talking about. Here you go. Yeah, it's really good. Wow. Yes. That's really, really good. Mm -hmm. That is good. Freaking turkey. I bet, I bet the dark meat is right. mm, even better. The, dark, the same thing. dark meat's my favorite. Wow. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's freaking time for a little Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> That's our green bean casserole. Yeah. Don't do it. Caitlin made it. Oh, yeah. I'll just cut everything up so it's good to go. Oh, oh that little piece looks juicy for right. some reason. Juicier than the big piece. There's too many pieces in the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, dark meat right off the turkey leg. Yeah! It's all worth it. It was all worth it. I would sit in that tree stand again for 13 hours. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey Penny. Hey P. Pretty cute. Oh yeah. Y'all see that? It's Thanksgiving in March. Well, turkey season is a great reason to celebrate Thanksgiving and all the wonderful things in life all over again. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Caitlin and I, we're about to have ourselves a feast. Big thank you, Lee, for doing the scouting work and setting up that tree blind. It was great spending all that time in there with you. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing. And if you want to support the channel, head over to rwboutdoors.com. Go get yourself some freaking spices. Bam, the sweet heat, the blackening. Can't forget about the reaper. We got that one up there. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next episode, which is gonna be actually a really crazy episode. Here's a little preview of that. All right guys, cheers.